Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you are returning, welcome back to my channel, guys. So this is your daily message for November 26th, which is the Thursday. So hopefully you guys have had a fantastic week. Um, just one, uh, just a quick announcement, I guess. I have spots open for this weekend and open uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday um, leading into next week for those who are interested in a personal reading. You can shoot me a message, um, comment on the video, or um, email me at ameliagilford.com. Ameliagilford at hotmail.com to book, okay? So, to start off your reading, we have denial coming in, okay? So, denial says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So, I feel like you guys are in denial about something. I feel like something is, you know, spirit, the angels, universe have been trying to show you that something's not right for you. Um, whether it's career, job, relationship, and I feel like what's happening is that you within yourself know at some levels that something isn't working out, that, you know, something feels, you know, not right or something on the line of that. It's kind of this, this feeling like maybe you're settling parts of you, like maybe you're like some of you, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but I feel like some of you may be settling because you don't want to be alone you know, you're afraid that no one else will come along or it's been so long since someone came along that, you know, you don't want to go the next couple of years without someone. But I feel like this is a lot of fear base going on. Okay. You have to understand that. Yes, people come into our lives for many different reasons, but knowing your worth and knowing your value has to be at the top priority of that. You have to not be afraid of losing people based on the fact that you're afraid that no one else is going to come around and i feel like this denial that i'm picking up is some of you have a lot of self-worth issues you don't honor yourself you don't value yourself you don't have standards for yourself you don't have boundaries for yourself and that's mostly because of what people have done to you but at the end of the day you can't live for tomorrow you have to continue moving on you have to heal what's what's broken you you have to honor and love yourself um so this denial thing is you know you have to acknowledge that you're afraid of change you have to acknowledge that you're afraid to open yourself up you have to acknowledge that you're afraid to be alone you have to acknowledge that you're afraid of you know no one coming towards you you have to acknowledge and accept the awareness that you are going through something and sometimes what in, on the journey of life we have to go through things alone you know that just that doesn't mean you're going to be destined to be alone forever you know it, it just means that don't question your silence you know and I did do a Facebook post and an Instagram post and a YouTube post about this like probably seven months ago when I was at my lowest point of being single and I was like, God, I don't understand this. Why do you keep me single? You know, I am a good catch, you know, I'm a good woman. And, you know, I doubt the process for a while and I never understood why God kept me in that, that stillness of being single for so long. And I was only single for a year and maybe six months before I met uh, my boyfriend that I'm with right now, which is not my twin. Um, but he is the most amazing man that I've ever had in my life. And I'm glad I had that chance to wait. Um, cause he, he has proven beyond measures that he was a godsend. I believe God sent him to me for many different reasons, but I really feel like because I had that time to really work on myself in that steelness of silence, because I had that time to reflect on my values and my worth and my standard you know I'm not willing to accept anything less than I know I deserve and having that time to figure out who I am as a person as an individual besides being a mom was was something I needed to do so I feel like for most of you watching this that's exactly what it is is that don't question your stillness right now you are in that stillness area because God has so much bigger things planned for you than you're even seeing right now. And yes, you could be hurting. You could be scared. You could be, you know, living in fear. You could be having anxiety about, you know, what's all going to happen. Just know, like, the pieces of the puzzle are slowly coming together, you know. And we have abundance right after that. I'm a limitless being. 
and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And it's the truth. You can. You can have all the abundance you want. You can have that relationship you want. You can have that job you want. You can have that home life you want. You have to manifest that into your life. And at the end of the day, you have to know that you're worthy of these things that you're asking God for, the universe for, right? Like I've been telling you guys, 2020 is, you know, the start of 2020 was really rough for me. January and February, I was so depressed. You know, I, I couldn't get out of that. And I felt like I would never get out of that. But prior to that, I had seven years of, you know, shitty luck, I'm telling you. But I swore to myself that I was going to make 2020 my best year yet. And I started shaping my mind from a negative mindset to a positive mindset on March 1st and ever since I just switched how I was feeling about life in general and you know I did manifestation I did law of attraction and I just started to believe that I was worthy of things that's when things turned around for me and you know I stopped being in denial about people leaving my life I stopped being in denial about things that have happened to me I stopped I just stopped living life for other people I started living life for me and you know, that's why I see the messages today is that your piece of your puzzle hasn't even reached the middle yet. You're still at the bottom for some of you, which means you still have so much room to grow. But you got to know that you're worthy of that growth. You have to know that you're worthy of getting to that top. You have to know that happiness is going to be within you first before you can find it in anyone else. And it's also love. You have to love yourself at the end of the day before you can sit out here and love other people. Okay? So your oracle cards from Postcard from Spirit say, Dear Stu, if you allow your awareness to settle in, you will hear us whispering sweetness and encouragement to you. You will know the truth of things that cannot be discerned through the material world. The receiver for this kind of essential knowing is your intuition, which is not your sixth sense, but your first, the primary nav navigational system of your soul. You are entering the age of consciousness. It's time to accept that the paranormal is normal. Human beings are multisensory, multidimensional beings. Spirit infuses all things, and your soul's job is to discover these essential truths here on Earth, where we all agree to play. Today, trust your spidey senses, read between the lines, tune into the stories behind the stories, and your world will show you miracles. Fear not, for we are right here and spirit loves you. Trust the invisible. Okay? Second one says, Dearest you, we're a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. In your life on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now you're facing excuse me, a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity. Be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer in your favor. Affirmative, we say, loving you so much. All right? So everything is possible, guys. Just believe. You guys take care. Have a great Thursday. I'll talk to you soon.